the Hollywood Tower Hotel behind me can only mean one thing, and that's that we are at Hollywood Studios in Hot Orlando, Florida on that, uh, excuse me, September 6th, 2022. Greedo and I are here to explore all the Star Wars stuff. We're going to go to Galaxy's Edge, we're going to go to Launch Bay, to check, check out Star Tours, Smuggler's Run, and hopefully get on Rise of the Resistance. So come on along for the ride. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios here in Orlando, Florida, the day after Labor Day 2022. Greedo and I are here to uh, take in all the Star Wars stuff and uh, see what there is to do here. Hey, Mickey. Mickey's waving at us. Not terribly busy. Kind of planned it to be here after the holiday weekend because uh, sometimes the crowds will thin out a bit. First thing we're going to do is uh, head over here to Star Wars Launch Bay. This is closed actually since the pandemic began and only recently reopened a couple of weeks ago. Returning to Launch Bay are the character meet and greets. Vader was available, Chewbacca, BB-8, but we didn't go uh, to meet any of them. We've done all those before, uh, and the lines were reasonable. They were only roughly 15 to 20, maybe 30 minutes long. Uh, but it was good to see that the, uh, the meet and greets are back. However, not everything was back at Launch Bay. That was the only bummer. The gift shop and the original exit, which is where you went out, as you can see here, is completely closed off and walled off. So I'm not sure if that's a permanent situation. Maybe they're remodeling. I'm hoping that's it, because that was honestly my favorite uh, 
gift shop of all of Star Wars stuff here, including everything in Galaxy's Edge. Something else that has not yet returned to Launch Bay is the movie, the intro movie that you would walk through. And it was optional. You didn't have to do it every time if you didn't want to. But that movie is no longer there. Uh, hopefully that's something that will come back because it was quite interesting. But this, is, this area is the entrance, uh, usually where you'd queue for the film. And they have lots of production art, things like that from the, uh, many of the movies, actually all, over all three trilogies. The bulk of the art is Ralph McQuarrie's work for the original trilogy. That's one of my favorite ones there, the original 3PO R2 artwork. But if I had to pick a favorite of all of Ralph McQuarrie's work, it was probably that one the original duel with uh, which was going to be Luke and Vader in the, the original film. But while Greedo is off riding a couple of other rides, I thought I'd take advantage of the time to look at some new Star Wars merchandise. I think that's a really cute one for kids there. Hello, what have we here? I love you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. and tight. Some Halloween selections for Star Wars merchandise, which is fairly rare. I haven't seen a lot of that over the years. Shit. 
This is one of my favorite sculptures uh, of Walt Disney here at Hollywood Studios. It's uh, depicting him, of course, as a filmmaker back early in his career. replica of the Grauman's Chinese Theater from Los Angeles here at uh, Hollywood Studios is pretty unique, especially now that it's the uh, centerpiece since the sorcerer's hat was taken away many years ago. But if you look closely, there's a few things here you may not have seen before, like Mark Hamill's handprints in cement. Since 1990, it's been here. And in addition, we've got C-3PO and R2-D2. Pretty cool. This is something I just noticed for the first time. These statues were put up uh, for the 50th anniversary, one of R2-D2 and BB-8. And apparently they also interact with magic bands. Couldn't get mine to work though. Just got out of Star Tours, and that was awesome. What'd you think? Yeah. That was <laughs> Tatooine Traders is hopping. This is the gift shop uh, through the exit for Star Tours. more Halloween themed selections here at uh, Tatooine Traders. But one of the more interesting things I saw price tag wise is they have a large photo, a promotional photo from the Empire Strikes Back signed by all the main cast. Uh, you know, Carrie and uh, Harrison, Mark and Peter Mayhew. And while they have uh, Mark, Harrison and Peter were visible, carries was signed so long ago and with such a poor quality pin that it's completely faded out you can't even see it and they're actually asking twenty five thousand dollars for this thing no. We are headed to the entrance tunnel to Galaxy's Edge.
Heading in to Oga's Cantina here at Galaxy's Edge. This is my first time going in since it first opened, actually. I haven't been back in about three years. So welcome to Oga's Cantina. You guys have been here before. I have, no. yeah. Okay, so whatever he does is wrong. Okay. Oga will go after your credits. <laughs> so you better behave so he doesn't get in trouble. Okay, no. Yeah. I can't guarantee anything. <laughs> we'll try. Okay. <laughs> So today you're going to be standing in Amaita. Okay. You're going to be sharing your space with all the travelers. Yeah. <laughs> Down the hatch, Lando. <laughs> intensely hot out here today. It is not playing around at all. Discovery or something, it might be alright. Lightning Lane. This is what replaced the Fast Pass. It is an additional fee, but Greedo was nice enough to get us reservations for Smuggler's Run. Hopefully the line won't be too long. Shouldn't be too bad at all, actually. I 
end of the prophets. Wakanda, the first order will never know we were there. Okay, time to go. So far, I we better go with all the changes in life. Judging by the state of the Falcon corridor here, that's all you need to know to see how well we did on our flight. Not so great. All available text, we have a Corellian. You're looking at the exterior of Doc Ondar's Den of Antiquities. This is where we're headed inside next. Hi. So y'all can hold up three um, hilts total. What's that? Y'all can hold up three hilts total. Oh, okay. So this set will be 45. This is the Troy Depot we're headed into next. Thank you. 
This is the Black Spire Outpost shopping area. There are about five to six stores uh, located along the edge here next to Ronto's Roasters. Yeah, Greedo and I decided to take a break from the festivities and grab some food. So we stopped by Backlot Express. We also had some thunderstorms coming through the area. Uh, they cleared out. We didn't really get a lot of rain, just a lot of thunder and a little bit of lightning. opinion, no visit to Galaxy's Edge is complete until you visit at nighttime. The way the Falcon is lit and just the ambiance of the place after dark just takes on a different life of its own. We didn't ride Smuggler's Run a second time. Instead, Greedo managed to get us Lightning Lane for Rise of the Resistance.
personal TR141. Identify yourselves. Prepare to be boarded. This is TR141. We are a civilian vessel. By whose authority are we being detained? By the authority of the First Order, Resistance Scum. Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. We will disembark and proceed down the hallway for processing and interrogation. Now get out. This is one of my favorite parts of Rise of the Resistance. Sort of the waiting area here after you get out of the shuttle before you get into the queue proper just prior to boarding. But it looks so fantastic, like a real docking bay. You've got all the First Order troopers there, and the screen that they use for the space outside is fantastic. With TIE fighters flying around, Star Destroyers, it's really, really, really impressive. Because I move forward. <laughs> hey, well, how many we got here? Seven. Hey, well, you put the little tiny little spy on the ground real quick. I just got a double check inside real quick. Come forward, little one. Get right here for me, little one. Congratulations, you're coming out to be interrogated. Down the middle, I don't know what we All seven of you down the middle. <laughs> And that will be a wrap on our visit to Hollywood Studios. Rito and I put in 11 full hours on this thing. It was a long, long, hot, tiring day, but completely worth it. Absolutely loved every minute of it. The park is closing and we are headed to the exits. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody, and we will see you next time on the next edition of Trader's Travels. Welcome to another episode of Travels with Trader, Trader's Travels, whatever it's called. So today for 